the tail. Take out the corresponding yarn. Wrap the yarn around your knit finger. And then bring it up to index finger. Pinch the yarn tail with your thumb and the midfinger. Work into a magic ring. Make loop around your midfinger. And pinch the crossover of the yarn with your thumb and the midfinger. Insert hook into the loop on midfinger. Yarn under the hook and pull up loop. A magic ring is formed on the midfinger. In round one, start with one chain stitch and then work six and crochets. Finally, end with one snap stitch. Work one chain stitch first. Then work six and crochets. Mark the first dozen crochet. Continue to work five more crochets in the same way. Six and crochets are down. Pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring. Remove the marker and work one step stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Round 1 is done. In round 2, start with 1 chain stitch. And then work set of 1 single crochet, 1 increase for 3 times. Finally, end with 1 snip stitch. Work 1 chain stitch first. Work 1 single crochet in the first stitch. Mark the first single crochet. In the next stitch, work one increase, which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. One set is done. The second set, work one single crochet in the next stitch. In the next stitch, work one increase, which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. The third set, work one single crochet in the next stitch. In the next stitch, work one increase, which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. Three sets are done. Remove the marker and work one snip stitch in the first stitch to join this round.
Round two is done. The stitches for rounds three to five are the same. In rounds three to five, work one chain stitch, nine single crochets, and one slip stitch for each round. Work one chain stitch first. Then work one single crochet in each stitch. There will be nine single crochets in total in this round. Mark the first single crochet. Continue to work eight more single crochets. Nice and crochets down. Remove the marker and work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Round three is done. Let's finish rounds four to five in the same way as round three by itself. Work one chain stitch, nice and crochets, and one slip stitch for each round. Round 5 is done. In round 6, start with 1 chain stitch. Then work set off 1 single crochet on the crease for 3 times. Finally, end with 1 slip stitch. Work 1 chain stitch first. Work 1 single crochet in the first stitch. Mark this single crochet. Next, work one decrease, which is to combine two stitches into one stitch. Once some crochet and one decrease are finished, once it is done, the second set, work one some crochet in the next stitch. Next, work one decrease. The third set, work one single crochet in the next stitch. Next, work one decrease. Three sets are done. Remove the marker and work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Round 6 is done. The stitches for rounds 7 to 10 are the same. In round 7 to 10, work 1 chain stitch, 6 crochets, and 1 slip stitch for each round. Work 1 chain stitch first. Then, work 1 single crochet in each stitch. There will be 6 single crochets in total in this round. Mark the first single crochet. Continue to work 5 more single crochets in the same way.
six crochets down, remove the marker, and work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Round seven is done. Let's finish rounds eight to ten in the same way as round seven by yourself. Work one chain stitch, six and crochets, and one slip stitch for each round. Cut off this short yarn tail. Round 10 is done. Stretch the loop and remove the hook. Break yarn, leaving a long yarn tail for sewing. The tail is completed. 